Today we got big news from DC and Warner Brothers regarding the release of Wonder Woman 1984, so let's get right into it. Welcome to Silver Screen Talk, my name is Luke LaPointe. I started this channel because movies are a huge part of my life and I wanna talk about them with people who care about them as much as I do with that. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, but most importantly, as we were talking about bombshell news, I wanna get your reaction based off my reaction and everything. Make sure you are active down in that comment section. With that, let's get right into this. So today, this afternoon, on November 18th, we got the news from Warner Brothers and DC that Wonder Woman 1984 plans to release on Christmas Day, both in theaters and on HBO Max to no additional cost to subscribers. And initial reaction, I've got to take good from this and bad from this. Obviously, very excited that Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out. It was one of my most anticipated movies of 2020. And in my first video on this channel, which is my most anticipated movies of 2020 post-coronavirus, which is still not over, which you can check out up above, I did have it as my second most anticipated movie. So obviously getting to see it on Christmas Day with my family, everything, that's going to be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see it in almost a month. It, will fly by and I can't wait. However, I see a lot of bad in this and the bad is all on the theater side. I mean, this is a really big step in the wrong direction for movie theaters. We have seen in this pandemic how movies have been delayed, postponed, whatever, or planned to be released and have been released on streaming services even though they were intended to be released in theaters. Um, first off, in early on in the pandemic with Trolls World Tour, which probably would have come and gone in the theaters, to be totally honest. It's been a little, like, you know, kids movie. And actually dominated the movie scene for a good bit because it was released at home and very easy to access. So the fact that a major, major, major blockbuster like Wonder Woman 1984, which is going to have a lot of success, coming off the initial success of the first Wonder Woman and the kind of high that uh, DC Universe is starting to build, it's big. It is huge. Now you're going to see in the future movies like Black Widow, which is supposed to come out, you know, some point in 2021, I can't even remember, is now probably gonna be released on Disney Plus. And you'll see that maybe with other Warner Brothers pictures like Dune, or I think uh, you might end up seeing that with movies like Fast 9, or you know, no, or no Time to Die, which is a huge, huge, um, huge, huge change to the whole theater going experience. I personally, even though I love movies, I'll watch them anywhere, I absolutely love the theater going experience. There's nothing like it, getting to sit with some people you know and a bunch of people you don't know. All for a common goal, watching a movie that you wanna love and, and just enjoying the movie on the big screen with a bunch of people. There's nothing like it. You can't replicate that feeling, those emotions, that enjoyment for movies in your own living room. You can't, you can't do that in your own freaking living room. I'm sorry. And like I said, while I am happy that Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out soon, I will see it on Christmas Day, whether it be HBO Max or if my theater's open back in New Jersey, I'm going to go see it in the theater. I am sad because a lot of people will opt to watch it on HBO Max, not get that full experience, and the theater-going experience will start to die. It will start to die. You're already seeing AMC and other theater properties. They're having, they're having a lot of problems. Everyone's having problems in COVID, but in terms of the theater, the movie industry, theaters are getting hit so, so hard. And it hurts. It hurts to watch. I'm not going to lie. Um, and if theaters die out, movies will change forever. Not just how they're released and whatever, but maybe how they're made. You might not see big budget movies the way you see now where you know, a movie like Avengers Endgame, 300, almost what, $250, $300 million put into it? That's a lot of freaking money that you cannot make back in direct-to-video, streaming service, platforms, whatever, release time. You can't do that with 
release to streaming services, you know, as your primary release. You're not going to, if, if Avengers Endgame, you know, released to Disney Plus back in 2019, it would not have made almost $3 billion. I'm just going to say that. So what am I taking from this? Theater going experience needs to change a little bit. People are very uncomfortable in the time of coronavirus and theaters need to adapt to that. Nothing's going to be totally normal when all this is over, when a vaccine is coming. Hopefully it comes soon. There's a lot of good news about that. But hopefully we still get the theater going experience, but it is going to be different. Theaters need to adapt to make people more comfortable and to adapt with the times, not just with coronavirus, but kind of with people's needs in general. You know, people kind of want a little more comfortability and luxury when they are you know, going to the theater, you're seeing a big push in that now. Sorry, I had to mute my computer. You're seeing a big push in that now with, you know, you're starting to see a lot of theaters moving to like reclining chairs and, um, you know, big IMAX theaters, a lot of comfortability, a lot of, you know, accessibility. So they're going to need to be changed like that, but we need to do our part. What does that mean? In coronavirus, wear your mask, wear your freaking mask, be careful, whatever, you know, don't, spread the virus to you know a bunch of people because then that'll exponentially grow um we need to support our local theaters they need us more than ever right now go out support them if you're comfortable please go out watch a movie go see two you know they need every single dime that they can get right now or else our way that we watch movies that we love to watch movies will be changed forever so in conclusion, great movie coming out next month, Blockbuster, cap off the year, very excited. But I'm very, very, very fearful for the f future of theaters and we all need to do our part to make sure that the theater going experience that we all love can continue. And that's all I've got right now. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you, know, you guys are active in the comments section. Um, I know I haven't been active on my channel that recently. I had a lot of stuff going on in school. Um, please be active. Please let me know how you're feeling because this is something that affects all of us. Thank you so much and keep on loving movies as much as I do.